Hey everyone, so now that we're back from fishing, we had some leftover bait in our live well. What I like to do, especially with these baits, we got some uh, greenies, piltridge, third pin herring, one of the two, greenies, is I like to uh, freeze these or pogies or something. Cigar mitt is I like to freeze them for using them later. You know, when we're bottom fishing, go out to the ledge, snapper season, whatever the case, it's nice to have, you know, some bait in your freezer that you can just pull out and go. You ain't gotta go to a store and buy something and you already have it. Plus, when I do it, I know it's good quality because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some brine in with these baits. Some, it's a mixture of uh, salt and baking soda. And I just borrowed a, uh, um, you know, like a seasoning little shaker. And I'll use this and a lot of times, you know, if I'm fishing with Ballyhoo, I'll sprinkle this on the Ballyhoo once they're rigged, keeps them looking good, toughens them up, is the big thing. But I'll put this in these baits as well. Like when I put them all in a bag, I'm going to sprinkle this all in, kind of shake them up, and that's going to make them tougher. Because I don't know if any of you guys have ever gotten like cigar minnows or bait, or even if you're inshore, mullet, shrimp, sand fleas, and you go to put it on the hook and it just kind of goes right through your hook. I mean, it's just, it doesn't have any, you know, strength, any cohesion. It just falls apart. And that's not good because when a fish hits it, it's going to fall right off your hook and you're not going to get that hook set. You need that fish to bite on a couple times then swallow it for you to you know get the hook in its mouth so I'm just gonna put my baits in a bag and put this brine in them shake them up freeze them and then I'll be good to go for the next trip so now Looking back, and what I would suggest to you guys, put a few in and then sprinkle it around and then put some more baits in and sprinkle some more on. That would have been a better idea. That's okay. There you have it guys, that's, that's all there is to it. Pretty simple trick, really helpful though, whether you're inshore or offshore, you know, brine those baits that you keep, keeps them good, keeps them fresh, and uh, you'll catch more fish next time. Hope you uh, liked the tip, hope it was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.